he received the pomp of president. The introduction of a marching band. Comedy Central Stephen Colbert took his mock campaign on the road to the College of Charleston Thursday for a Rock Me Like a Herman Cain rally. In a way, mocking the circus of the campaign trail with his own circus and his own rendition of the national Ring. anthem. And the rock. Of course, there were jokes. And I am not going to answer the gotcha question, am I interested in an open marriage? Though I am flattered that Newt Gingrich asked me. But Colbert used his platform, an audience of hundreds of students, to draw attention to a thorny issue on the campaign trail, super PACs and campaign financing. We must stand for our corporate brothers and our limited liability sisters. We must stand because they have no legs. In tow, former presidential candidate, Herman Cain. One Herman. Important note, a Herman is not the same as a she-male. I don't want to frighten off any Santorum supporters. Cain dismissed those who would criticize him for letting Colbert appropriate his persona. America needs to learn how to lighten up. But he did make note of the fact he's endorsing not a candidate of those who remain, but the American people, and spoke of a continuing revolution. This revolution is about brains and ballots at the ballot box. That's how we are going to take back Washington, D.C. Kane seemed willing to get into the spirit of the lighter side of the campaign trail with an admonition in song form. Ooh, but believe in yourself, America. The crowd had quite a few Ron Paul supporters. I um, like Ron Paul. He's the best. He's the only one who's been consistent in his views, and he wants to get out of foreign countries where we don't need to be. Um, just, he's good the best. He's the least Republican of the Republicans. Yeah. He's half and half. <laughs> it's good. There were armchair pundits. There's such polarization. Nothing gets done. Nobody listens to the American people anymore. So all we can do is mock. You, you basically have too much corporate money. Um, and super PACs are a way of hiding corporate donations. And I think that that has a very uh, divisive effect on uh, American political system. There were a few undecideds. Uh, I mean, right now it's kind of a toss up between Mitt Romney and Newt Gingrich. Um, I like Mitt a lot. I don't really like his health care plan. So I'm hoping that he can maybe switch that up or we can find a way around it. And but those who would not hesitate to vote for Stephen Colbert. Yeah, is that even a question? Of course I would vote for Stephen Colbert. <laughs> America wants Colbert for America, truthiness for America. For me, see, Colbert actually represents the moderate Catholic, which I'm a part of myself. You know, Santorum accepts the extreme part of Catholicism, which I'm not for. But Colbert kind of gives me more of a moderate view, which I think is what America needs and not the extreme side of things. In Charleston, South Carolina, I'm Andy Jordan for The Wall Street Journal.